I know, this is a bit different. I'm away from the drum kit. But we're going to talk about another one of my passions today. So on top of loving music, I also love fitness, and I love nutrition, and I love how food and fitness can affect our performance in any field. So I get a lot of questions about stress, anxiety. How do we deal with it? All right, whether that be a big job interview, a test at university, whether that be an audition you've got coming up for a big gig, maybe you're playing in front of 20,000 people. I don't know what the case is, but everybody has stress and anxiety. How do we handle that? There's a couple of natural things that we can do or eat that actually help our bodies handle whatever stress or anxiety we have. All right, so let's take, for instance, this guy, a banana, simple banana. This is like a super fruit, and you should keep these everywhere. All right, bananas do several things in helping us handle stress and anxiety. One of those things is they contain something called tryptophan. Tryptophan is a natural protein that's uh, converted into serotonin whenever it gets into the body. Now, once that converts, their serotonin is known to have an overall calming effect on the body. All right, and so it helps you calm yourself, puts you in a better mood, helps you handle that stress. All right, it also contains vitamin B which has uh, been, long been known to give a calming effect to the nervous system and the body. Uh, on top of that, there's no wonder that it's the favorite food of professional athletes before they perform. Why is that? Well, it's got three different types of sugars in it. One is sucrose, glucose, and fructose. And it's known that if you eat two of the bananas, scientists have studied and, and they showed that it will provide enough energy for an intense 90 minute workout. That's crazy. 90 minutes, just two bananas. So it's going to give you the energy to get through whatever it is, because stress kind of weighs on you. Now, the other thing that's packed with is potassium. Uh, whenever, whenever we go into a stressful situation, potassium uh, has it's a natural mineral, that, mineral that's vital to us, and it helps regulate heart rate, helps regulate stress, metabolic rates, all of that. So whenever your metabolic rate rises when you get stressful, that takes away the potassium. And so what we can do to replace that potassium is eat, of course, green leafy vegetables. Seaweed has potassium in it, but who carries around seaweed with them everywhere they go, right? I don't. So it's much easier to grab one of these fellas than to grab, you know, a snatch of seaweed and start munching on it. Plus, it looks a lot less strange to just eat a banana instead of some seaweed. Uh, so that's, you know, bananas, and, and I've told people in comments before, like, eat a banana before the point. They're like, well, why? And several of your teachers may have told you, hey, before a test, eat a banana. It just helps you calm down, gives you energy, and kind of clears your mind a little bit. All right? So that would be my number one tip for you is carry a banana with you, man. That's the number one thing you can do. The second thing I would suggest to you is if you're going in a high stress situation, whether that be a performance or an audition or a university, if you've got a test or a level that you have to pass, um, deep breathing. So researchers linked uh, participants in yoga as well as bodybuilders. They linked that they had increased brain function. And why, why did they have increased brain function? Well, they looked at both of what they do and lifting heavy weights really has nothing to do with stretching in the short term, but if you look at it in a bigger picture, it really does. Because what you're doing is breathing deep in both of those. In yoga, you're stretching, but you're holding these poses and the, and the person that's telling you if they're doing this correctly, they're saying, hey, inhale and exhale. Inhale, control your breathing, center yourself, you know, all this stuff that we think, oh, yoga's way out there, but really the great thing is it stretches you and you deep breathe. The other thing, whenever you're lifting heavy weights, what are you doing? You're pushing the weight, you're blowing as much air out as you can to get that weight up. So the thing that they have in common is deep breathing. So if we'll just get along by ourselves with our banana, take five to 10 minutes, Centering yourself, you ain't gotta get all weird. I'm not talking about meditation. Close your eyes, envision whatever you're fixing to be doing. Envision whether that be envisioning the performance, the test. Envision yourself going through those motions, succeeding at those motions. While you're doing that, breathe deeply, as deep as you can. And then exhale. And then after you get done with that, munch on a banana or two, right? I like bananas, they're good, they're sugary, they taste good. All right, those are three things that you can do. Envisioning the successful outcome, breathing deeply, and eating a banana or two, or a big green leafy salad uh, has somewhat of the same effect. So if you're asking me my advice on how to control stress and anxiety, there it is. Three very simple things. Hopefully that helps you. If you got any questions or comments, put them in the comment section below. I would love to know. 
some techniques that you use to reduce your stress levels. Put them in the comments section below. I'm interested. And if you want to, check out my website. I've got subscription drum lessons there. I've got downloadable drum lessons. There's a lot of free content on the site as well uh, if you sign up for my email list. That's free. Hope to see you soon.